Welcome to our lecture online. Well, let's take another look at Green's theorem. We're going to expand upon that and we're going to use what we learned in the video that we did in number 37 on the series. Now here we have Green's theorem where we say that the divergence of a vector integrated over a volume is equal to the surface integral of that same volume of the vector multiplied times dA. All right, so what do we show in, vi in video number 37? Well, it turns out that in video number 37 we showed, because we used the product rule essentially, that the divergence of the, the product of a function and a vector is equal to the function times the divergence of the vector plus the vector times the gradient of the function. Okay, now we also want to employ the concept of integration by parts where we have the integral of u dv being equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So we're going to apply that same concept to Green's theorem. So we're going to take this expanded form right here. Now notice here we have the divergence of a product f times v, but essentially when we take a look at this and we take a look at that, that's essentially the same thing except here we simply have v and here we have a product. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the integral of both sides over the volume. So on the left side we get the integral of the divergence of the product of f times v dv is equal to the integral of f times the divergence of v dv plus the integral of v times the gradient of f dv. So we're simply taking the derivative of the across the volume or over, over the whole volume of both sides of the integral. Now notice that this is essentially the same as that. So what we're going to do then is we're going to replace this by this via the Green's theorem. So then we're going to write that for here. So we can write this now as the surface integral of the vector now, not just the vector, because here we have the, the, the product of, the, of, the, of f, the function, times the vector. So we have this multiplied times the area element, like that. So that means that what we're doing here is we're replacing this, which looks the same as that, by what that is equal to, and make it look the same here. But in, instead, we have the product of the function times the vector instead of just the vector, but it looks exactly the same. All right, we now set that equal to the integral of f times the divergence of v dv plus the integral of v times the gradient of f dv. And that should be a v. Let me try to make it look more like a v. There we go, for volume. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to take a look at this concept here of integration by parts where we have the integral of u dv and then we take a look over here and notice we have the product of the function times the divergence of v and essentially the divergence of v is the derivative of v. So this right here looks very similar to what we have over here, the integral of u dv, the integral of f and the, essentially the derivative of v but it's the divergence of v. All right, so we want to isolate that on the left side. Or, with other words, we can leave it on the right side and move this to the other side and make that negative. So we're going to take that term right there and go minus the integral of v times the diversion, not the diversion, but the gradient of f times dv is equal to, oh, not, not equal to because I still have this here, so we have plus the integral, the surface integral, of f times v dv. So we have this on the left side, we move this quantity right here to the left side, we have that equal to the right side. So this is the integral of the function times the divergence of the vector v dv. And now if we turn the whole thing around and we write this second and this first, so we're going to turn the whole uh, equation around, so we have the integral now of, of the function times the derivative is, or the divergence of v, dv, is equal to, that's a terrible equal sign, there we go, is equal to, uh, we'll write the positive one first, so the integral, the surface integral, that's the surface integral 
of f times v dv minus this part right here, the integral of v times d gradient of f dv. And this is what we're trying to get. Oop. That's a surface integral like, like this. All right. Now let's take a look at that and see if that makes sense. So here we have what we call the product of u times dv, the product of f times the derivative or the divergence of v, dv. So that's what we have here on the left side. We can write that as the product of u times v, so the product of u times v, minus the integral of v du. So this is the vector v times the derivative or the of the gradient of f. So essentially this is u dv equals u times v minus v du. And that is essentially the same thing as the integration by parts, but applied to Green's theorem to allow us to come up with an equation so that if you don't know how to solve this, you can solve it by setting it equal to this minus this. So again, you can see there's a lot of parallel to what we've learned in calculus and how we apply it to vector calculus. And so this is another nice theorem to have available to you in case you can't solve this, you can solve it by doing that instead. And that is how it's done. <laughs> At some point, uh, there's so many of these combinations that I don't necessarily see how you remember it all. You'd, I think you just need a big sheet with all these equations on there. You can kind of look at it and go, oh, let me try that one. <laughs> you usually don't see these kind of things in the integration book. This is definitely vector calculus, and so that's kind of a, a different way of handling things. But believe me, in the sections to come, you're going to see a lot of applications of these. So they'll, this is going to come in handy, and you'll learn the specific ones that you use the most. There's usually only about a handful that you tend to repeat over and over and over again. So those are the ones you go with. Until you need the one that you don't know how to use. <laughs> right. Well, we'll go through it. You'll see it.